Hello everyone, it's Tito Mizal here and today we are going to learn about index number but before we do that, do follow me on my Facebook and Instagram account at Tito Mizal and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel hit the notification bell to get updated with new videos so now, let's begin Table 14 shows the prices, the price indices and the weightage of 4 ingredients rice, egg, anchovy and chili used to make nasi lemak so here we have our table 14 so in this table we have the ingredient the price in the year 2015 and 2010 the price index in the year 2015 based on the year 2010 and the weightage as you all can see this is an index number question in index number we need to learn three important formulas the first formula is index is equivalent to p current price current divided by price base multiply by 100 this formula is used to find the price index if we want to find the price index of an ingredient we can use this formula over here the next formula is i bar so i bar over here represents composite index composite index is equivalent to sum of i w i represent price index multiplied by weightage divided by sum of weightage next the third formula is the formula for composite index 2 so composite index is equivalent to composite index current divided by composite index base multiply by 100 Usually for the third formula, we are going to pair it with chain rule and usually the first formula is meant for the first question the second formula is meant for the second question and the third formula is meant for the third question So now let's jump into the first question A, find the values of P and Q So remember, I told you that the first question, we have to use the first formula which is index is equivalent to current price divided by base price multiplied by 100 so now the question that you might be asking me is that which one is the current price and which one is the base price so you can see from this table over here price index in the year 2015 based on the year 2010 the base year is 2010 the current year is 2015 let me just jot down the formula i is equivalent to p current divided by p base multiply by 100 so index being p over here p is equivalent to the current price which is 0 0.35 divided by 0 0.25 multiply by 100 our answer for p is 140 meaning that the price index in the year 2015 based on the year 2010 for egg is 140 so now let's just label it over here and next we can find the base price for anchovy likewise uh, index is equivalent to p current over p base times 100 price index is equivalent to 6 ringgit 50 divided by q multiply by 100 is equivalent to 130 so now we can find q so bring q to the opposite side q 130q is equivalent to 6 ringgit 50 times 100 is 650 q is equivalent to 650 divided by 130 is equivalent to rm5 ringgit all right so now we have already find p and also q so we are done with the first question next we are going to look at the second question if the composite index of the four items in the year 2015 based on the year 2010 is 125 and the total weightage is 10 calculate the values of x and y for the second question we have to use the second formula which is composite index is equivalent to sum of index multiplied by weightage divided by sum of weightage so the composite index is the cost of making nasi lemak whereas if we were to use price index is the cost of each ingredient inside the nasi lemak so so the composite index 
i bar is equivalent to 125 and we know that the sum of weightage is equivalent to 10 we are required to find uh, the values for x and the values for y as we can see over here this is the weightage for x y and 2 and we know that the total weightage is 10 4 plus 2 plus x plus y is equivalent to 10 so simplify everything x plus y is equivalent to 10 is equivalent to 4 this is our first equation our second equation will circle around the composite index formula so composite index which is 125 is equivalent to sum of index multiplied by weightage index multiplied by weightage this is how we are going to do it for rice the index is 112.5 and the weightage is 4 112.5 times 4 plus 140x plus 130y plus 135 multiplied by 2 divided by the sum of weightage which is 10 we can simplify everything up so 1250 is equivalent to 112.5 multiplied by 4 plus 135 multiplied by 2 is equivalent to 720 plus 140x plus 130y Simplify everything out, we will get 530 is equivalent to 140x plus 130y. This, we can still simplify it. So, we are going to divide everything by 10. So, we'll get 53 is equivalent to 1, is equivalent to 14x plus 13y. x plus y is equivalent to 4 this is our first uh, form this is our first equation and our second equation is 53 is equivalent to 14x plus 13y to solve this question we have to use simultaneous equation so i am going to make x as our subject from the first equation x is equivalent to 4 minus y and this is our third equation I am going to substitute the value of x inside the second equation so 53 is equivalent to 14 multiplied by 4 minus y plus 13y 53 is equivalent to 14 multiplied by 4 is equivalent to 56 minus 14y plus 13y so negative 14y plus 13y is equal to negative y is equivalent to 56 I'll move it to the opposite side so 53 minus 56 negative 3 is equivalent to negative y so cancel both of the negatives y is equivalent to 3 and and this value of y equivalent to 3 I will substitute it inside the first equation sorry inside the third equation x is equivalent to 4 minus 3 so our x is 1 we are going to look at the the cost of making nasi lemak increase by 10 percent from year 2015 to year 2016 calculate one the composite index in the year 2016 using the year 2010 as the base year so this question is a little bit tricky so it says over here that the cost of making nasi lemak increased by 10 percent from the year 2015 to the year 2016 Meaning that in the year 2015 to the year 2016, the cost of making the nasi lemak increases by 10%. You need to know that the base price is always 100%. So in 2015, it is always 100%. So now, the price has increased by 10%. Meaning that in the year 2016, the cost of making nasi lemak is equivalent to 100% plus 10% is equivalent to 110%. The only thing that you need to remember is that the percentage of base year must always be 100%. The index of 2016 divided by the index of 2015 is equivalent to 110% see we'll take 2016 
divided by P2015 2015 which is 100% To answer question C uh, especially C1 we need to use a chain rule and to use chain rule uh, we need to know three information first is what is given second is what is needed third is info from question to answer this question uh, C1 you need to analyze these three things first what is given is the index alright the index given which is the cost of making nasi lemak increased by 10% from year 2015 to year 2016 which we already uh, done over here and what is needed is the composite index in the year 2016 using the year 2010 as the, as the base year so what is needed is P2016 divided by P2010 P2016 divided by P2010 is what we are required to find and last but not least info from the question so info from question is referring to the composite index uh, inside the question so the composite index from the question as we can see from any of the question is the year 2015 based on the year 2010 so P 2015 divided by P 2010 is equivalent to 125 over 100 so this is the info from the question you we are going to use the third formula which is composite index is equivalent to the composite index of current divided by the composite index of base multiplied by 100 i bar is our p2016 over p2010 is equivalent to now we are going to put two fraction lines all right multiply by 100 in order for us to solve a chain rule question we have to put p2016 on our upper part of the line so we put P2016 here and leave the bottom over here and next we are going to look at the base which is P2010 so we are going to put P2010 in the bottom part of the fraction line so now P2016 times P2010 so now we are going to find uh, any index number which has P2016 at the upper part of the fraction line so here we have P2016 over P2015 see the P2016 is located at the upper part of the fraction line so we are going to take this so P2016 over P2015 therefore we are going to write P2015 at the bottom and next we are going to look at which index has P2010 at the bottom part so at the bottom part here we have P2010 at the bottom part in this index so we are going to put P2015 at the top notice this, this position over here allows us to cancel P2015 and this P2015 at the top and bottom we are left with P2016 multiplied by P2010 which we are going to get P2016 divided by P2010 P2016 over P2010 is equivalent to the the composite index of P2016 divided by P2015 is 110 divided by 100 so 110 divided by 100 multiplied by 2015 divided by 2010 is 125 over 100 multiplied by 100 we are going to get 137.5 so the composite index in the year 2016 using the year 2010 is 137.5 last but not least we are going to look at question D question D is, is one of the simplest question the cost of making nasi lemak in the year 2016 if the cost in the year 2010 is RM0.60 here we already know the index of P2016 divided by P2010 as you all know, P2016, P refers to price. So, price of 2016 divided by price over 2010. 
is equivalent to 137.5 we are going to use this formula I bar which is 137.5 our composite index is equivalent to price in the year 2016 divided by the price in the year 2010 which is 0 0.60 multiply by 100 so if we solve this P 2016 so the price of nasi lemak in the year 2016 is equivalent to RM 0.83 so that's all for the question today uh, if you find this video really helpful do follow me on my facebook and instagram account at twitter Mivzel, and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel click the notification button to get updated with new videos see you soon guys bye